Hi everyone and welcome to this new Unity tutorial on the collision matrix, aka the possibility to enable or disable collisions between specific objects. Rather than going into long explanation, let me summarize its usefulness in a few words and then we'll see an example. The collision matrix allows us to define which objects will collide with which other objects. Thanks to it, we'll be able to define that an object A cannot collide with an object C, but an object B can collide with the object C. Let me show you a simple and concrete example, it will be easier. As you can see, I have three cubes in my scene, one blue, one yellow and one red. These three cubes have the same components, a collider and a rigid body. So they are all affected by gravity and collisions. The only difference they have, apart from the colors, are the layers I assigned to each of them. To make it easier, I applied to each cube a layer corresponding to its color. Below these three cubes is another object with a slightly different shape, but other than that, it is configured the same way as the cubes. It has a box collider, a rigid body, and a layer corresponding to its color. Overall, nothing complicated. Three cubes and a gray rectangle, which are all affected by gravity and according to their configuration by collisions too. Which means that if I press play with the default Unity configuration, the three colored cubes should just land on the object below. But this is where the collision matrix comes into use. When I press play, the blue and yellow cubes have landed on the gray rectangle, but the red cube just passed through, as if one of the two objects had no collision box. What happened is that I disabled the collisions between the two layers of those objects. And I did that in the collision matrix. Let's open it. You can find it in Edit, Project Settings, Physics. At the very bottom of the window, you can see the famous collision matrix. And its usage is actually very simple. All the layers of the project, including our colors, are listed on the horizontal and vertical axis. When you hover one of the boxes, a tooltip shows you at which intersection you are. For example, with this box, I can manage the collision between objects having the blue layer and those with the gray layer. We can see that the box is checked, which means that there are collisions between those layers. By unchecking it and pressing play, we can see that our blue cube is now ignoring the collision with the gray object below, exactly like the red cube. By reactivating the collision between the red and the gray layers, the red cube will now land on the object instead of just passing through. And that's basically how it works. To finish in style, let's add a fourth cube from scratch. I'm just going to duplicate the red cube to make things faster. Change its name. I can then create a green layer, return on my cube, and apply the new layer green to it. I've also prepared a green material before the video to actually have a green cube. Now we can return in the collision matrix and by default, when you create a new layer, his collision will be enabled with every other object. So you have to manually deactivate the collision between the new layer and the other ones if necessary. Every modification done in the collision matrix is automatically saved so you can just close the window and everything will work. For those of you who would like a more concrete example other than just cubes, in one of my projects I added several enemies which are represented by these small red creatures on the right and I disabled the collisions between them. This allows them to overlap each other on the same platform so they don't collide with each other but that doesn't stop them from hitting the player if he collides with them. And that's everything I wanted to show you about the collision matrix. 
As you can see, this is a very useful tool in Unity. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please press the thumbs up button. This will help the channel a lot. See you guys soon for more Unity tutorials. Godfriend out.